Hi everyone. So just a quick video, uh, another in the series of my um, uh, crystal radio kit build, uh, which I started a few days ago. Um, I'm not sure if you've even seen that video yet, but I think I do mention in uh, the last video that I was trying to wind a coil so as I could um, listen to Radio 4 Longwave 198 kilohertz, and uh, this call here um, was my first attempt. Um, but when I measured the inductance of that coil uh, with the Wayne Kerr Auto Automatic LCR meter, uh, it was about 1,800 microhenries, which isn't really enough to cover the Longwave band. Um, by now you will have seen my video where I was checking the bandwidth or the tuning sort of bandwidth, matching bandwidth of my two variable capacitors, the uh, open uh, air, uh, air spaced um, dual gang capacitor versus the little compact uh, variable capacitor that came with the kit, this kind of thing here. And what you find is that the uh, the S-based dual GAN capacitor will give up to about 400 picofarads, whilst this will give about 160. So using that value, 400 picofarads, um, I did the calculation and I needed a coil that had a, an inductance of about 2,800 microhenries. So um, being quite lazy, I didn't want to have another go at winding one of these. And I remembered that um, from few years ago uh, I was winding um, box loop uh, inductively coupled antennas for medium wave. Uh, I, I actually made a couple of those. This is one of them and if you can see uh, on the windings that um, the first part of that coil is wound uh, with uh, wire that's insulated uh, <laughs> with um, uh, brown uh coat uh, covering and the last part is insulated with red i'm guessing they're insulated with like pvc uh and the reason for that is because i using the automatic lcr meter measured the inductance of the existing coil and i think it was about 1600 microhenries so i literally soldered some more wire onto the end of that coil and just started winding again until i got up to about i think think just under 3000 so um connected it to the crystal set and lo and behold had a weak signal um on radio 4 longwave um but when i say weak i mean very weak i i, I do have a video uh of that audio and it's clear enough but um my microphone on my phone is literally right next to the bose so you guys can actually hear it since then, um, I've been out in the garden and I've put up a sort of simple long wire, um, which is the pole at the bottom of the garden uh, that just runs straight straight down to the house and down. Uh, and I've got a much better signal on long wave now, uh, BBC Radio 4. Uh, so I'm going to record another video to demonstrate that. Um, and I'm also tonight going to have a tune around and see if, for example, I can hear any of the other stronger stations on long wave. The obvious candidates being uh, RTE 252, uh, Antenna Satellor 153, um, uh, what else, Polsky Radio 225, um, uh, and then there's also 234 kilohertz, so there's a, you know, I'm not sure I'll be able to hear Medi 1 on 171 kilohertz, but you never know, so I'll have a tune around later, um, and uh, if I do hear anything else, I'll be sure to uh, make a video. So so there you go. So yeah, the um, the LCR meter that I'm borrowing is proving very handy because um, you can do the calculations. There's, there's the maths is easy. Um, you just need to measure the dimensions of the coil, number of turns, and it's easy. It's easy to calculate, you know, quite accurately the um, inductance. Um, but uh, obviously, if you can measure it as you go, then that's even easier. So uh, obviously, this isn't very compact. Um, so, uh, but that's okay because. Um, I've not built this for mobility. I built it as a, just a bit of a fun experiment, really. Um, I think I'm going to move on to shortwave when I um, when I've um, finished experimenting on uh, longwave. But uh, there you go. It's been a lot of fun um, building the original uh, Crystal Radio kit.
few days ago and then um, chopping and changing, adding my own sort of components in and what have you. So uh, next video is, uh, is will be of Radio 4. And um, yeah, it's don't get me wrong, it's not booming in, but a lot stronger than it was with the uh, from my initial video. So uh, I'll do that next. Anyway, all the best in 73.